Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's the day, what a very exciting day. It's the 23rd of January at 10 a.m. I'm staying in a hotel with my mum in London, waiting for the call any minute. But baby girl is here. I am trying to find the gym in this hotel. Oh, well, this is really terrifying. No, this can't be right. What the hell? Um, I'm trying to find the gym in this hotel and I can't find it. It's literally a trek to get there, but it's 10 a.m. I've just had a banana. I'm going to do a quick workout this morning and then I'm going to, um, ah, maybe here. And then I'm going to bring you with me today um, whilst I just mill around London trying to kill time waiting for the call, which could be, it could be in the next hour. It could be not for another 24 hours yet. So, um, I will be checking my phone every two minutes to wait for a message. Can't relax today at all. I've left my mum in bed because she slept so badly last night. Um, God, it's really quiet. I'm gonna go and try and find the gym. God, I did not need to have a banana this morning. Like, what the hell? This is so cute. So the gym is just through those doors. Um, this is amazing. I'm definitely gonna spend some time here afterwards, have a drink maybe have some fresh water with some oranges. I will update you properly um, a bit later today on everything, keep you updated obviously as the day goes on. My plan is to do this gym session. I'm just gonna do some upper body I think because I've got a bit of a dodgy knee. Um, mine focused, yeah. And then I'm gonna go back, quickly get a shower, change. I wanna get a Joe and the Juice for breakfast because everyone banged on about Joe and the Juice and I've never had one before. And then I might put myself in for a blow dry I don't know why. Just feel like that's something you do if you were in London by yourself, maybe with no plans. And then hopefully my mum's awake by then and we can spend the day together. Um, hopefully not too long though, because I can't wait any longer. Waiting for the sunshine. Waiting for the sunshine. around the corner so I'm going to hopefully be let into their room to get this big blanket that um, they've got in their room because she's a bit cold um, it's like literally like 0.3 of a mile away where she is so I can just like run there just trying to find somewhere to put you wow she looks good so I've just had a shower that's why it's so steamy in here but I'm back from the hospital now I just dropped the blanket off I literally run there so fast, anyone would think she, I've been told that she's just given birth. Um, but I sprinted there as part of my little workout this morning. Um, and now I'm back, showered, not washed my hair because I'm going to try and get a blow dry at Selfridges. Um, but yeah, all is well. I've just spoken to Tommy briefly, she said that she's doing great. So I'm just going to get ready now for the day. Mum's awake, she got a few hours sleep when I was um, at the gym, so that's good. But. I'm gonna put some makeup on now and then head to Joe and the Juice, get some breakfast because oh my god, it's not even it won't even be breakfast, it's literally lunchtime, so brunch. Um, because this is a very long time for me to go without food, I can't lie. Yeah, mum and I need to desperately find stuff to do today to pass the time because otherwise we're gonna be going out of our mind, like waiting for a call because we have, we have absolutely no idea when it could be like it could be now, but it could be tomorrow, which is kind of annoying, like <laughs> just want to know but yeah you'll have to excuse the state of me and my hair for the first half of this vlog because yeah i'm vlogging you have to excuse the state of my hair for the first half of this vlog because i am going to get it done and 
it's really not looking its best. And we are out the door, just like that. If you know my mother and I, it may be, it may be minus four degrees in temperature, but we don't like We're big hot. coats. We, we are hot people. <laughs> we are always hot, always sweating. Um, just not a fan of big puffy coats. Like for me, there's nothing worse than sweating. So yes, it is minus four degrees. It's and I'm only wearing, cold. it doesn't actually feel cold, does it? It is minus four. We've got adrenaline my surging mom, through my our My literally just wearing a jumper and I'm just wearing a very thin leather jacket. Just the um, on nervous energy. Yeah, we're both feeling a bit apprehensive, a bit nervous. Excited. Waiting for the call. Excited. Yeah, excited. Um, we're gonna go and get some food now. Let you know what we get. Okay, change of plan. In about 30 seconds, we've decided that we're gonna treat ourselves, well, try and treat ourselves, gosh, to um, lunch and sandwiches, because- We're gonna try. We don't get out often, do we? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try and get into that. I think it's called Brasserie. Brasserie Light, Light Brasserie. I don't something. know. We don't know. Um, we've only been there once. We just want to sit somewhere warm, don't we? I think it's we've too cold. To write, um, we've got to write baby girl cards. Yeah, we've got to write congratulation cards. We're going to get Joe in the juice, but it does feel a bit chilly to... Um, I don't know, Joe in the juice gives me summer vibes and I want cosy winter vibes. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Is there something that we don't know? Um, there's a TikTok up sensation yeah. called Wakey Ones. Uh, it's on the UK's biggest TikTok sensation at the moment. Yeah. And um, it's a gentleman over there. And um, my uncle owns the place. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I said to him, listen, let's do some behind the scenes and stuff. It's never been done before. We're taking the first ever TikTok star or whatever out to where the bees actually are. And then we're doing it behind the scenes and then we're stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. You stand there. Honestly, if you could see the scenes right now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Perfect. Scene. We've got men in bee suits. Can we move your hat forward a tiny bit? Um, so we couldn't get in it. Is it Brasserie of Light? Yes. Or Light of Brasserie? Yeah. Brasserie of Light. We couldn't get in there. But we booked a table for half two. So we've just come to um, somewhere called the Hive Restaurant. We're going to get a coffee. I might just get a croissant. It's half 12 now. So we've got two hours till we're going to get some lunch. Yeah. I'm going to write. Um, it's fine. Oh no, you can. No, it's fine. We're ready. Do you want to. You ready to order? Oh, no, no, no. Um, can I get a cappuccino, please, with oat milk? Um, and just a croissant, please. Yeah, thank you. Um, a, a flat white, please. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to write um, Molly's card. Just says she's perfect. <laughs> I'm sure she will be. We are right next to the Skims section in Selfridges, and I've been looking online at getting a Skims dress for Valentine's Day. Because um, Valentine's Day is obviously the 14th of Feb, and then Danny goes away for three months on the 15th of Feb, so I thought <laughs> we can book a nice dinner, and I just feel like I want a skim dress. Um, so I'm gonna go and have a look there afterwards. No, because I am officially the worst vlogger in the world. I've literally like started eating um, before even showing you what I've got, which isn't that exciting anyway, but I've just got my cappuccino with oat milk and a croissant just to tie me over until lunch because I couldn't wait another two hours. I've already waited all morning. Um, and yeah, got hungry. Flat white. Mum's Cheers. just got a flat white. Just now, we've just um, spotted some filter in the travel essentials, and then we're going to head for some lunch. But our table at the Brasserie of Light. Um, just having a look at the menu now. I'm really actually impressed with my hair. Like, I've never had it bow dried like this before, and I'm really enjoying it. Other than my little wispy bit, so many baby hairs. Yeah, I just think it looks really like healthy and clean and blonde, which isn't like me. I've only been here once before for Molly's birthday. Well, it must have been about two, three years ago. Two years ago. Um, yeah, we're just having a look at the very um, posh menu. Deciding <laughs> what we want. You know, a place is really posh when you have to Google 
the foods that are on some of the meals. So there's this thing called nasturtium, and I just had to Google what it is, and it's a flower. So I'm getting a flower on my dinner. Absolutely gorgeous here, mother looking lovely. So, so to share to start we've just got some zucchini fritti these are literally my favorite things in the entire world and we've got some are they arancini balls would you say we think they're like arancini balls but mushroom and rice balls uh, rice, rice balls but rice balls. arancini yeah arancini and our mains are here i went for the sole goujons i've never actually had a fish goujon i've only ever had chicken goujons so they should be interesting i've just got some uh, mushy peas with them and some fries and my mum's got salmon with cauliflower couscous So we're gonna see how many steps we did. I have. Go on. Well, I'm not. I'm not done it as well. Scroll up. That's fine. See how many steps you've done today. Oh, how did you do that? We've walked so far. Oh, my hair's dropped. Literally. I mean, it doesn't even remotely look like I've had a blow dry. Anyone else's hair does not hold its curls. Like, oh my god, that was fully curled. Like, how long ago? Three hours ago. Oh, pathetic. Oh well, it looks clean and. I enjoyed it while it lasted. Anyway, we've done a lot of steps. We've done a lot of walking around Oxford Street, trying to kill time, pass time, waiting till we hear any form of news, which we're hearing back from them, but... Drips and drabs. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. We think it's going to be a long night, and um, nothing's going to be happening until probably early hours, so... I'm, I'm thinking... Mum thinks 3am. I said I half seven, which is not going to happen, because that's like two five, hours away. 5, 6am, I'm thinking. Um, Mum got no sleep last night, so... I got some pounds this morning. Well, basically no sleep last Molly night. Came in. So, and she normally sleeps with a fan at home and like rock solid pillows. Excuse so, me. went down to reception and asked this morning if they have a fan and any different pillows. Yeah. Very kindly brought up a massive Dyson fan, um, which I wasn't expecting at all. And it also brought her a bit of a thermal pillow, which is really nice of them. So, we're back now. I'm gonna just get changed, probably just put on some shorts and a t shirt, chill out watch some TV. We would go to the spa, but then what would we do if we got in the spa and got a call and they were like, she's here, I have to quickly get changed, it would just be a bit of a faff, so I think we're just going to chill out. Um, I didn't buy anything today. Oh, wait, I tell a lie, I bought one thing. Um, one thing in my little bag, and that is some, um, just some Refi Sculpt and Brown, because so you guys know I get my brows laminated, but when they drop after they've been laminated for like two months, I think they last. Um, I just like to keep them topped up with the Refi stuff. I say the Refi stuff, but I've literally only used the brow sculpt from Refi. I've not used anything else. Mum bought a blazer from Pull and Bear. No, Pull and Bear? Yeah, Pull and Bear. Um, it was in the sale for £17. Just a nice camel oversized blazer. She's very happy with that. And that is about it. So we're going to chill out and I will update you very soon, hopefully. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, just like that. Um, half six, I'm just vlogging, half six. Half six. Um, Mum and I were literally not expecting, I'm just putting my shoes on. Mum and I weren't expecting to get a message until like, got like early hours or tomorrow. Um, oh my God, literally like an hour ago, she messaged us saying, I'm only three centimeters dilated, I think it'll be a while. And now she's here and we're off and I'm panicking and I feel sick. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm just putting my shoes on. We're off, guys, we're off. <coughs> like, we're gonna go at some point today, anyway. That's us, off to meet baby girl. <laughs> oh my god, we're so excited. So quick. We she's told us, hours. she said, um, don't come yet, fam, we're going now anyway. So, <laughs> so we've no, we want to meet her, yeah, we've waited long enough. I thought we'd be waiting so much longer. We thought. We thought, honestly, like, uh, like 5 so a.m. So it's like, what time is it now? Half six. So it's like quarter to seven now in the evening. Mm. We thought it was going to be seven like tomorrow morning, five six a.m. tomorrow yeah. morning. Oh my god, I'm so buzzing. We were literally just like both watching lounge, YouTube, yeah, lounging on the um, 
bed it's watching my... YouTube, like, Girl, we got not a care night. in the this world. Is be a long night. Oh my god, I had no idea. And Tommy no. was supposed to message and say that he was yeah, it might that it might have been like really sudden. He might not have had a chance. Right, anyway, we're going there now. It's like a mile away, so we're gonna speed walk. Good morning everyone. Last time I spoke to you, we were heading over to the hospital, I think. Um did I vlog at the hospital? No, I didn't vlog at the hospital. So we literally um put our shoes on without telling Molly that we were going. We we're like, let's go, we need to be there, we need to be like ready to go in and see her. Um so we got to the hospital and then we were waiting for like quite a while nearly two hours i think rather than waiting there rather than in the hotel room waiting to hear from her to be like yeah you can come now so at least we were there and um, but basically she was in the delivery ward and they were waiting to be moved down to the her normal ward which she's in now for a couple of days i didn't vlog when i got to the hospital just because that was really the last thing on my mind was to get my camera out and also i wanted to give her a bit of privacy and i've not actually spoken to her about whether she i don't know if she's vlogging actually is she vlogging do you know no idea she was vlogging a few days ago. She was vlogging the night before, so maybe she is vlogging a bit. Tommy and I did a Barry's class this morning, um, which was super hard. Probably one of the hardest classes I've done, but like 600 calories, and I don't normally burn that many calories, so that's really good for me. Um, but you got the keys? I've got the room key, yeah. We are just heading over to the hospital now, the three of us from the hotel. Enjoy it. Yesterday yeah. was like a feeling I have never, ever experienced in my entire life. Like. I, it still doesn't feel real. Like, I'm still don't think I'm an auntie. I still don't think that Molly's got a baby girl. Um, and all I can think about is just seeing her constantly. Like, I want to go there now. It's all I've been thinking about this morning. It's all I was thinking about during the Barry's class. Um, so I'm super excited to get back there this morning, see how they're doing. And yeah, I'll update you when we get there. So we've just arrived at the hospital. <laughs> we've just arrived at the hospital. I'm not going to... Um, film the room where Molly is but I just thought I'd show you some bits that I picked up from Sainsbury's just to treat her with some few snacks I thought she'd like picked up some um cornflake in fact I don't want to say it loud because I don't want to tell her what I've got her yet got some of these got some of these which I know she'll like and then some bits that she might not be so happy about because health is important but I don't know if I went a little bit overboard actually on this matter <laughs> some of this because it's very important especially if she's trying to breastfeed obviously this is all very important as she's trying to breastfeed too um i got her favorite chocolate and then just got myself a refreshing drink for the day i'm just going to give her all these bits now spend the day with her and baby girl and tommy and everyone and i cannot wait okay yesterday was a great day um but it was a big fat fail for a vlogging day just because I'm so caught up in the moment that the last thing I can think about doing is get my camera out and obviously I'm just giving Molly and Tommy their privacy that they want and I don't want to put anything out that she's not put out um, so I just sort of left vlogging yesterday but we had such a nice day like I'm still so overwhelmed by it all um, today, this morning I'm taking the walk to John Lewis because baby girl baby baby girl has run out of sleep suits while she's in the hospital Molly thought she packed enough but she packed like 12, which in your head like for a couple of nights you'd think is enough, but um, newborns, which I am coming to learn, get sick quite a lot, and baby girl's been sick on all of her sleep suits, so she's only got one left, so I'm just walking to John Lewis now, oh my god, it's freezing, my hands are cold, just walking to John Lewis now to get some sleep suits and some little vests and stuff for her. It's weird, me um, buying newborn stuff, I've never actually done this. I don't even know where to start looking. God, people are going to think that I'm having a child, to be fair. I won't lie. I knew that this was either going to make or break me wanting to have a child. Okay, that's awkward. Can't get in. That was really awkward. Just tried to get in the door. Couldn't get in. But no, this has 100% made me want children. Um, and I am. Um, hold on. Is it, is it closed or something? Right, I think John Lewis is closed. There's no one in there. What the hell? No, it can't be. What's the time? Surely it doesn't open at 10. No way. Oh, it's 10 to 10. Maybe it opens at 10. Let me have a look. Oh my god, John Lewis opens at 10. 10 to well late. What am I going to do? I'm going to get some breakfast then. What the hell? But no, as I was saying, um, seeing Molly with baby girl has 100% made me <laughs> want a child. I thought it would do the opposite. I really did, but no. Um, I need one. So Danny, when you watch this, Nah, I'm kidding. We need um, <laughs> we need a house first, and we want to get married first. 
Um, but then, honestly, Danny, I would like children, please. What, do I just wait outside John Lewis for 10 minutes now? God, I didn't need to rush, I was rushing. And I'm starving, I've walked past so many breakfast places and not got breakfast because I wanted to get here. No, why was there a massive queue of like, I don't know, like 40 people queuing outside of John Lewis? Why is everyone desperate to come here at 10 o'clock? I don't understand. There must be like some sort of sale on or something that I don't know about. Anyway, I'm off to floor four because that's where the baby wear is. Okay, I have found the sleep suits. So I'm looking for newborn sleep suits. Ah, early baby. Early baby, does that mean newborn? Or does that mean zero to three months? I thought it would be, ah, newborn. Here we are, newborn, newborn, right. Three long sleeve sleep, sleep suits. Newborn three long sleeve sleep suits. This is what we want. So, newborn three long sleeve sleep suits. They literally just look like this. Three of them in here. I might get two packs of them, maybe three packs of them actually. So, oh, that's if they've got three packs. They've only seemed to have, oh, wait, newborn seven. Oh my god, can I get seven? That would be great. Seven sleeveless body suits. Hmm. I don't know if that's what I want. Let me get them anyway. £54 later. Babies are expensive. <laughs> now I've got loads to be fair. I've got um, like six long sleeve sleep suits, six short sleeve ones, a pack of six muslins and something else. can't remember what now. But I am just going to go and hunt now for a neon diffuser because Molly's been really liking her neon diffuser to try and sleep at night and I think it broke yesterday so um, I'm gonna go and try and find her one now. It's a really sad day when you come to get you and Molly um, a classic oatmeal and it's the only one left. God, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to ask because I am desperate for it but I know she is as well. Do you have any more of these left? Do you have any more? Yeah, thank you. That's the only one. Um, and can I get an iced chai latte with soy milk, please? Um, an iced oat milk latte with sugar free caramel syrup, please. Yes, please. And the milk was? Oat milk, please. So? Thank you. It's home time. We missed our train by like four minutes. Well, not our train. There is another train, but we missed the train that we could have got by like four minutes. So now we've got a half hour wait at the train station to get home. I'm so annoyed at myself. Basically, I drove down to my mum's from mine and Danny's, which is three hours. And then I got the train from my mum's into London, which is like another hour, hour and a half. Um, instead of just getting the train straight from mine to London, like right now, oh, right now I could be on the train back home, back up north to mine and Danny's, but instead I'll we'll get the train to my mum's and then drive three hours. Oh my God. I am not looking forward to this one bit. The whole birth, newborn thing fascinates me more than anything ever like i knew i was going to be in love with that little girl but my god like i cannot stop staring at her i want to be involved all the time the thought of having to leave her now and like not experience things is really upsetting me um so it's wednesday today i've already planned to go down to see molly on friday um friday to sunday danny and i are going to stay there so he can meet her as well uncle danny auntie zoe um but i'm just so over the moon and molly is honestly like an inspiration she is taking it in her stride she is so calm she is doing everything so amazingly she's learning so well um the whole thing is just perfect and it's really it really couldn't have gone any better i just thought i would close this vlog off now i'm sorry you obviously didn't get to see much but i think that's quite understandable anyway the whole experience has been incredible and i'm just so lucky that now with my job I can literally drop anything and just sort of be with her whenever I want to be which is incredible. But yeah I'm so over the moon and so happy and I just want to get home now I think like 
I don't want to get home, like I want to stay here and experience it all, but I want to go and see Danny and also I just want to get this drive out of the way because it's a long way, it's three hours, three hours minimum, like sometimes over. But thank you ever so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you very, very soon in my next one. Bye.